No, frankly, you came equipped with it. Your machinery is in your head. And uh, uh, the, the hard part is learning to, to get it all together that it's all there. So now we're going to go into age regression. And we, uh, the people with me here have uh, heard this before. I don't know, it might even no. be on the tape. Is it? No, it's not. We haven't gone into age regression all right. yet. We are born pure. We have nothing more than the ability to think when we come out of our mother's womb. And uh, we don't know how to talk. We, we do know how to communicate through some screaming if we're hurt, crying if we're hungry, and, and mom and occasionally dad understand our language. You know, we're kind of like cats that do uh, body language in a sense. A certain meow means I'm hungry, a certain meow means I want attention, a certain meow means get off my tail, you know, that type of thing. <coughs> and in the meantime, we slowly start to understand concepts with, that with audible noises, i.e. words, and then we put the two together. We too learn to think in, as, as a, a, a mature person. And uh, in time, we learn to mock those words with the concept that we learn those words mean. We learn to talk. And, uh, but you come in this way, pure. And as you get a, you know, everybody runs over, looks at the new baby. Oh, isn't that baby cute? Probably the ugliest dang thing in the world, you know. But, you know, people lie to people. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's got mama's eyes, daddy's nose, you know, and, and grandmother's six leg and all kinds of stuff. Isn't that baby cute? But uh, um, you are starting to hear sounds and get concepts and starting immediately to learn from day one, the first few moments of your life. And... Uh, um, Anyway, as you, as you get a little older, you see, you know, mom and dad walking towards you, brother and daddy, or brother and sister walking towards you, and, and you don't know anything about walking, but they're a lot bigger than you are. Big babies, and they, they're not laying on their backs. So uh, someday you're going to be a big girl, a big boy, you know, the words come up. And you start to get that concept and the understanding of the words and starting to accept it into your, your, your very pure uh, mind. One that had nothing in it except the ability to observe and think. And uh, the five senses, you know, see, hear, all that. But... Uh, you, in time, realize your big brother, who's maybe nine or, or rather only four and a half, five years old, is uh, running around there on a tricycle, and you're barely able to, to uh, uh, crawl, maybe. And gee, when I get big, I can ride on a tricycle. When I get big, I can walk on two feet instead of walling around here like a little pig. And you are creating a concept of growing bigger. You also know that to be bigger, you look a little different, i.e. older. So you're pressing that into your concept of reality. And in time, you grow bigger. You get up on your little feet, and you wobble around until you're pretty steady. Then you set your diaper buns on the, on the tricycle seat, and you learn how to run a tricycle. You've grown bigger. Oh, what a big boy. What a big girl. Look at that. You can run a tricycle. But now, brother or sister, on a bicycle. When I grow big, I can ride that, and I don't need these two wheels. And in time, you do um, project yourself, yourself, into being bigger older to ride a bicycle. And then they're out there driving a car. When I get bigger, older, 
I can drive a car. And in time that happens. Well, by then, it's kind of too late. You have escalated your, to your own concept, your own uh, uh, desire, your own will, to get bigger, and bigger means older. So you have actually begun to age yourself by the things that you observed and have accepted into your own reality. So, it's too late. You're always chasing the one across the street or the one across the room. They're bigger, they're older. They get to do more things. Look at the new car, that one. Look at that one's got a nice house. Well, you had to work to get that house generally, you know. So when I get bigger, I can get a job and, and go out and get a nice house. And when I get bigger, I can, I can have children of my own and blah, blah, blah. You have started this, this great round, flat will moving until it's going like crazy. And you see, as you get a little older, mom and dad are quite a bit older, and then you see grandma and grandpa, and you start the concept, mom looks like grandma and grandpa, only they look older, mom will look like this, I'll look like mom, you have begun accepting your own concept of aging to death. So, you die in time. I mean, if you're living a normal life, but, uh, you know, normal, uh, a, a general, no accidents or something like that that's going to kill you. And you grow old and die, period. It doesn't have to be that way. Here's what you do. If, if at all possible, the easiest way to do it is get photographs of you uh, every five or ten years back, all the way until you were a tiny baby. If you can get them, get them. Spread these out on the table before you. Your most recent, not today's, you know, not last week, but uh, uh, oh, two years ago. And look at that photograph and project your thoughts into that photo, preferably one when you're happy, having a good time, not laying in a hospital bed, all <laughs> aches and pain. But, uh, 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 you know, project your memory back to that time. Just recall what you felt like when you were out there with the beach playing with the kids in that photograph. Recall it. Recall how you felt. Recall the wind and the air and everything about you the joy of being two years younger. Once you got that, go to the next picture down. Doing the same. And the next and the next. You don't, you don't need a whole lot of pictures. But you should have a number. You know, you, you don't want 30 or 40 pictures there, but try to keep it 10, 15, maybe tops. Until you, sitting there at the table every single night that you can possibly do it, um, till you get down to that baby picture when you were just cuddled and loved and you were just, uh, you know, maybe nobody's holding you in the picture, but you remember what it was like to just be so loved and so accepted and it was so wonderful and no worries, you know, that, that was it. And then go to bed with that concept of that baby you in your head. I have a question. Mm. What if you not only don't have those photographs, but everything from your birth forward was very, very miserable and unhappy? There, there was no happy time. None. Well, I'll answer that question because you're wrong. There was some happy time. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, this, is, this is where time travel will help you. I'll okay. answer it now. Okay. Look backwards, say, can you do the time travel trick? Mm -hmm. And say, I would like to see my life from this moment backwards to the day I, and the moment I came out of mom's womb. Mm -hmm. And I would like all the good, joyful times that I felt good. Mm -hmm. Stop to let me see and experience that. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out that there was some